Hello, it's 8.49 p.m. The day is just about over, so this video is going to be like five minutes or less. So, tomorrow, well, they switched plans and say that tomorrow we have to work a full day. At first, I was kind of upset, like, um, like, damn, you know, I needed that extra little break, but then again, I'm like, I'm glad and thankful because, you know, it's an extra four hours that I can work, and also, I can, you know, get paid, you know, a little more, you know, get paid the full amount rather than about half, so, supposed to work a full day tomorrow and then Thursday will be off for Veterans Day because I was talking with one of the teachers about the holidays and she said that when she remembers when, when you know being off for President's Day and certain holidays and she said maybe they changed it around because I'm like wait a minute when we were in school we weren't off for Veterans Day or Memorial Day and stuff like that but um, but I can't, I kind of remember us not having to go to school or for President's Day, but we always had to go to school on Veterans Day, even when I was in college. So now, you know, I guess they did switch things around. If they don't have to go to school for Veterans Day, but maybe President's Day, they might have to, you know, but anyway, so... While I was busy working and everything, and I was feeling down at the same time and depressed about just thinking of all kinds of things, and I'm sitting here feeling like I'm lonesome and wish I had somebody supportive to talk to, you know, <clears throat> and I mean, I'm just feeling all kinds of emotions about a whole bunch of different things, past, present, and future. And, um, you know, trying to not let it get me down or have me feel in a certain way. But it's like for the past, like I guess after dinner, for the past hour or two, like I've been like bothered, you know, about you know, about, I, I mean, everywhere that they can get an opening, you know, I've tried to close every door, but I'm still bothered about the idea of perps, narcissistic perps calling me greedy for no reason and stuff. And I checked myself and I'm like, I know I didn't eat like a glutton today, the day before, the day before, the day before. I just eat like normal. So they had that lady that was a perp who was sent to come to that restaurant while I was eating a standard normal meal, like grits, eggs, ham, and a biscuit. I didn't even get the waffle. And her and her husband had the, um, her husband had the hash browns and she had a waffle and then they switched. And it seemed like she probably ate before she came there just to, sit by me and, and with a deceitful like a smile on her face. Ooh, that's a you know a lot of food. And so then I think I had cheesy grits too and, and, and the um the employee right after she said that, you know, the employee had gave me extra grits. Maybe she must have, you know, felt some thank you, you know, employee for feeling, you know, some compassion, you know, about that lady and then the online perps has something to say about that too. And, and it's like they they try to call me greedy for every opportunity, you know. But I'm not on psychiatric medications anymore. And so my diet is like standard. But the narcissistic abuser who narcissistically and self righteously eats one meal a day, they think you should too. But if you're a child and he who eats one meal a day, they call that child abuse. A child is expected, especially in the school system, they expect it to eat all three meals a day. But I'm sorry, this is going to go over a little, a little bit more than five minutes. But, you know, 
I find it strange that an adult, you know, is called greedy for eating more than one meal a day, but children are expected to eat that, you know, all three meals a day. You know, and sometimes I eat two meals a day. Like Saturday, I didn't even eat. Um, I didn't eat breakfast Saturday. So it's like, can I? Can, I mean, I get called greedy for eating a standard meal. And then they think that the one time I treat myself out for rewarding myself for hard work. They think this is the kind of stuff Candy spends her money on all the time. So therefore, don't donate, don't donate to her. She's a scammer. She's this, that, whatever. But I mean, I'm working now and it's, it's on y'all perps to cause me to get my doggone job taken away and then leave me back on the streets. It's not fair or right at all what y'all doing, you know, because as long as I got a job, I guess I can hold my own. But y'all sit there and try to get the little bit I have taken away and make me feel like I'm sinning just by eating or committed blasphemy against the Holy Spirit just by eating. You know, I, I wasn't allowed to treat myself, you know, out to a one time fancy meal with money that I worked for. I got shunned and attacked for that, too. It's not, I don't do that every day or all the time. So, I mean, I'm just sitting here feeling down and depressed, you know, about, and about you know, every, all the perps calling me greedy and people who covetous and sold their souls already. And, and y'all calling me names like fat and greedy. So I got to get out of here. I'll see y'all later.